welcome. My name is Nancy. I garden in Zone 4B, Minnesota. It is around the uh, third week of July. And I just want to give you a tour of my front yard garden and show you what is blooming. And we'll start here in the circle garden because I want to show you my day lilies blooming. Unfortunately, day lilies only bloom for one day. So I have three day lilies on this circle garden. So this is another view from the other side. Yeah, look at that view. Love it. Yeah, so this video was filmed two days after. Um, as you can see, the daily leaves are done blooming. And that's sad. Fortunately, I have my coneflowers. Look at these beautiful coneflowers. My flax there. Still not blooming. Um, that geranium. I want to show you my flax. Look at the little buds there. My lily. I have the um, salvia there. My lantana. My uh, petunia container. And this um, golden tiara is blooming as well. I have some lilies here. Oriental lilies. And this white lily is one of my favorite oriental lilies. And it's called Muscadet. And I also have it on the other side of the garden. Isn't that beautiful? The combination with the pink lily is beautiful. At least they last a little longer. And of course the hostas are blooming as well. This cadmium looks beautiful too. Look at it. My coleus. Ah, that is pyrea. And this geranium, Roseanne geranium, it's keep blooming. I have some petunias there too in my container. And the powwow coneflower. Now we're going to go to the garden by the driveway. And here is the alyssum, purple alyssum. There is one bloom here for another daily. Uh, this is some of my hanging baskets. And I have done netting because um, that I like to eat my petunias. So this is the other one. I love the bacopas. Petunia daybreak charm. And potato vine in that one. I have some gumfrina here and a delphinium. Uh, in this container, I have a calibrachia, African daisy, and I planted, I think, two lily bulbs. <laughs> this is my variegated iris. And this one, you guys. This is my David Austin roses, and the buds were eaten, the same as some of the blooms from the little lime hydrangea here. So I had to cover with the netting. 
There is my Liberty Hasta. And look at this view of my porch. Is that pretty? In here, I have some Machuga. Coleus. Allium there. And again, this one to you guys. The deer ate all my butts. I was so excited to see the blooms, right? But I went on a trip and I thought the side was safe. But now I'm just covering with the nettings because they're going to rebloom. Hopefully. And I added more coleus here on this side. I had um, my daffodils earlier in the spring on this side. There's the Magilla by the Asta, Catmint, and I'm loving the um, Alyssums on this side. So pretty. And my annual Diantha too. They're pretty. Look at this Diane. The Ajuga is um, scallop. Purple fountain grass, unias, a little lime hydrangea. Look at that bloom. more alyssum here and a coleus and that's by Rhea on the left side now let's go back here I have the manuals here the alyssum verbena and the lilies are done blooming my containers are have petunias, calibrachias, and the magilla in the back. Fire Witch Dianthus. The Barbarous Orange Rocket. This is the Minuteman Hosta. The Endless Summer Hydrangea. I'm going to show you my hanging basket. There's two petunias, two petunias in each. And this hydrangea in the summer doesn't get a lot of blooms. Here's my geraniums. And in these containers, I have a potato vine that is going up. You can see there. And then I have my calibrachia, a coleus, a Mexican heather. I think that's what it is. And in these containers, look at those uh, calibrachias. I have a geranium, a scabiola, angelonia, pentas, beautiful colors. On this side, you see the hostas, the geraniums, sorry about my shadow, um, coleus in the container, calibrachias, the white flowers, bidens, and on this container, I just want to show you my geraniums. And more coleus as well. Different variety of coleus. This one here is the copperhead coleus. And now I'm going to show you around my bay window. Again, sorry about my shadow. The endless summer hydrangea. A bloom there. Picture hasta. That's the salvia. This coleus is called Inferno. 
so pretty. The petunias, the petunias. Salvia and Coleus. The bleeding heart is behind it. Uh, white brim Asta. Again, another endless summer hydrangea. And this is my vanilla strawberry hydrangea. That only the top is going to bloom because the bottom was eaten. Yeah, look at those blooms. Yeah, most of my hydrangeas on this side are were chewed up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this lily is so beautiful. It's Orient Pet Debbie. And I was looking forward for this one last year, but it was eaten, eaten and I didn't get to enjoy it last year. But this year I. Make sure I covered it, which I did. And there is my blue spruce called Saphiro. My chenille plant in that container. Now I just want to show you my pinky winky hydrangea. Uh, so it, this one is just going to have uh, blooms on the top. Because again, the bottom one was chewed up. some barberries the nine bark and this one you guys is my joe pie weed look at how tall it is <laughs> love it and here we have the quick fire hydrangea The blooms are pretty too, and it's fragrant. And behind it is my bobo hydrangea. See if I can show you. Let's see. This is my bobo hydrangea. Now down here is my guacamole pasta. Got some moms there. Another uh, pasta. My wichila. There is my some and substance pasta. My astilbe. A uh, visions astilbe pink. have that Christmas tree here. Christmas tree has that, sorry. But yeah, that's all you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.